Hey guys, Tapara here. So I know it's frustrating right now where we can't see any of our totals as ad account managers or if you're a business owner and you're running, you're running your uh, Facebook ads and now you can't see your totals with these new recent changes with Facebook. So let me show you how to fix this without resetting your ad sets or the learning um, time window so you're not going to mess up anything in your campaigns what you do is just go to your columns and go ahead and say customize columns and what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go into um, comparing windows and you're going to want to hit seven day click get rid of this so it's just seven day click and then the other thing that you have to make sure is on is you have to make sure that website is on for everything so website purchases um, if we want to see these totals so anywhere you see website for me I don't need offline or on Facebook purchases that doesn't really apply um, for this particular client um, and if you just click all of these, you will see this won't be in the window that I like for it to be in. So I'll show you one other thing. But here we go. So now we have our, our leads have a zero conversion value. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit apply or you can save this, but I don't want to save it yet because it's not in the order. I like to look at my data. So we'll hit apply. And now all of a sudden you'll see where I put that in, which is going to appear at the end. I can now finally see everything. Yay. Now, if you want to get rid of your old ones, because still the old ones will say nothing, what we can do is we can basically start from ground zero again. So we can go here, we can hit customize columns, we can get rid of the old columns and just re-put them in. And let me just show you what I mean. I'll just do one of them for right now. So I'm going to get rid of purchase ROAS just all together and I will re-put it in. So let me get rid of that and let me put in my um, purchase ROAS. Okay. And we're going to put in total and that will go back basically to the bottom. And now it's here, but now I can put it where I really want it. Like, let's say I really like it up a little higher in my reporting, I'm just gonna start, let's say, just for the ease of this training, we'll put it right here above the previous purchases that wasn't showing, okay? So it'll now show in my reporting under cost per unique link click. I'm gonna hit apply. And now, where it wasn't showing before, remember how this was before, um, it will show now under where I want it to show, which is really cool. So I'm not saying this is the only solution. There's probably gonna be some better ones that come out, but I know there's a lot of people who are wondering what to do and are a little stressed. And this was a very easy solution for me, so I'm just gonna continue to modify my columns the way I want them. And um, I know I'll refine this process, but at least this gives you a head start. I hope that was helpful. If you need anything else, you can always just follow me on Instagram, Takara Charisma, and I'll be giving you all sorts of tips like this. All right, bye guys.